Okay, today in the garage, we have ourselves here a 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And we've got to replace the fuel pump on this thing. So, this is not going to be a step-by-step, -step, but it's going to tell you how to do it. And uh, this is kind of an overview because basically, first time I've ever done one of these in this series of vehicle. And uh, I didn't feel like, you know, having the video camera there. So... I will tell you how I did this. So right there is the fuel pump that we just took out. It's junk, new one's coming, it's on its way. Here is the fuel tank. What you're going to want to do is, we'll, I'll tell you how to do these clips here in a minute, is there's two clips up here, or there's two fuel lines. The, uh, I think this is the main and this is the return. And then at the back, you have a wiring harness that you'll have to take loose. Here is another connection that will have to be taken loose. And this is all for the EVAP. And then another EVAP line. And then your fill ho filler neck. Just a, a, a hose clamp onto that. And pop that off. And then you have one. And I took, there's a bracket that's still up in there. And I took the the two 18 millimeter fasteners there, fastener there, fastener there, fastener there, and a fastener there, and a fastener there. I'm bulleted them. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fasteners for the tank. Do not take any of those. Well, you can take out some of those fasteners, but don't take them all out until you have these lines disconnected because you're going to break these. These suckers are plastic and they will break very easily. So. Uh, and plus get your return line or your not your return line come on Dave your filler neck hose that came out real easy you know like I said it's a hose clamp pull that off and then you can drop this tank down just let it fall and this tank is about full so I gotta get the gas out of this thing so got her kind of cleaned up right now around the where the fuel pump goes so we'll be in good shape to put that fuel pump back in but yeah that is the fuel tank now here is these clips these clips go down into here picked one over pushed it back a little bit and then i have my screwdriver on the other end and just putting a light pressure on it to keep it out and then i went to the other side and picked it over and then i pulled the clip out you kind of got to finagle it to get it out but I pulled the clips all the way out. You probably don't have to pull the clips all the way out, but I wanted to make sure they were out and safe. So there's one, two, three, one that's going on the fuel pump, and then four back here. Now, this line right here, I went ahead and just pulled this out for, so I could show you guys how this worked. So I'm just going to reconnect it. It's reconnected. All you have to do is push on that. Got just a little tab right there. Push on it and pull it off. And that's all you have to do for that. And basically just reverse the process. So that is the process that I went through to remove this fuel tank to get to the fuel pump. So I hope this video will be beneficial to you and help you out. So like always the video is what it is so comment rate subscribe check me out on facebook and on google plus and uh that's about it so later on